Hey there, I'm Brandon, and this is the Dirt Church Devotional. Let me ask you something. Have you ever been hurt or frustrated or discouraged or even just disappointed at church or with church people or leaders or pastors or maybe things didn't go the way you thought they should, you weren't getting the blessings that maybe other people were, and it frustrated you? Second part of the question is, what did you do with that? You see... Unfortunately, disappointment is a part of life, even church life. And what we do with that disappointment is critical. It can make or break us. You know, some people will get disappointed and they'll, and they'll walk away. They'll say, you know what? Church isn't for me. God isn't for me. I've been hurt. I've been frustrated. I've been discouraged. And I'm not saying they don't have a reason that, that, that they're not justified in their frustration. But walking away isn't the right decision. There's a story in Mark chapter 9 about a guy that brought his son, uh, who was demon-possessed, to be delivered from the demons. He brought him to Jesus' disciples, nine out of the 12 disciples. The other three were with Jesus up on top of a mountain. And the disciples weren't able to cast a demon out. When Jesus came down from the mountain, he saw a crowd of people, and they were arguing and, and frustrated. He said, what's, what's going on here? And the man came to Jesus and he says, look, I brought my son to your disciples to cast a demon out and they couldn't do it. This guy had real reason to be frustrated. He had every right to be discouraged. I'm sure he had heard about other demons being cast out. He had heard about dead people being raised and blind eyes open and deaf ears open. He had heard about miracles, but when it came to him and his son, it didn't happen. And I'm sure he had all the questions, why, why not, why me, how come, what have I done, I'm not good enough. I'm sure he was challenged with the thought of, you know what, I'm just going to quit. Apparently God doesn't love me, apparently God doesn't care enough about me, apparently my kid's not important enough, and he was ready to walk away. But instead, when Jesus came down, he approached Jesus. And, and Jesus talked to him a little bit and said, hey, look, anything's possible for the one that believes and the man responded with, I believe, but help my unbelief. At that, Jesus cast the demon out, told not to come back ever again. The man left, and Jesus went into the house with his disciples. The disciples asked him, why couldn't we do it? And Jesus said, look, this kind will come out only through prayer and fasting. So a couple of things to grab onto from here. Number one, don't get so focused on earthly men and women don't get so focused on pastors and leaders and deacons and elders and whatnot and get frustrated at them when things don't happen the way you want those disciples they weren't perfect they were in the process they were still learning and all of us other leaders we're still in the process ain't a single one of us going to be perfect till we get to heaven okay so don't get too frustrated with man but learn to run to jesus like this guy did <clears throat> number two and this is critical when he went to Jesus, Jesus made the comment, look, anything's possible for the one that believes. And the guy jumped up really quick and said, I believe. But then he paused and said, but help my unbelief. Here was the reality. He believed, he wanted to believe, but he wasn't sure if he believed enough. He wasn't sure if his faith was deep enough or strong enough. And so he went to the one that could help him, Jesus. And he said, help my unbelief. Help me to believe, help me to get there because I don't think I'm there yet. And it was with that honest confession, it was with that sincere cry that Jesus looked and smiled and said, okay, and cast the demon out, built his faith. You know, the Bible says that it's by grace that we're saved through faith, and this not even of our own, but it's the gift from God. We only need a little bit of faith for God to move in our lives, but we have to activate that little bit of faith. God will give you enough, but you gotta activate it, all right? Chew on that and God bless you. We'll talk to you next time.